Well, the Raiders are rolling out, headed for Cleveland, where they'll play the Browns on Sunday. Adam Hill, Sam Gordon here at the team facility in Henderson. And Sam, they are going to play the Browns. It's basically a toss-up game. The Browns 5-2, and two, one of the top teams in the AFC. The Raiders tried to get up into that playoff picture as well. Uh, not going to be an easy game. And I know one of the things you wrote about is Baker Mayfield and what he has done this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Baker Mayfield showed a lot of promise, Adam, as a rookie, right? Breaking Russell Wilson and Peyton Manning's record for touchdown passes in a single season with 27. And then he regresses a little bit last year, has a, a down year under Freddie Kitchens, throws 21 interceptions, doesn't look like the franchise quarterback that they hoped he would be. But this year, he's been much better, much more effective this year. They're running the ball more, taking some pressure off of him, and he's responded with 15 touchdown passes against seven interceptions, had Arguably the best game of his last week against the Cincinnati Bengals, engineering a come-from-behind victory, throwing five touchdown passes, and setting a franchise record with 21 straight completions. So he has flashed brilliance at times, and he's also flashed a lot of interceptions at times too. We'll see what the Ra which one the Raiders get on Sunday. Well, as you mentioned, a big difference between last year with Freddie Kitchens, this year, Kevin Stefanski, who knows how to run the ball. His system is designed to run it and to run play action, which Baker Mayfield has thrived in. Uh, so the Raiders will get to see that offense. They'll also get to see that Browns defense, which is not good, but they are forcing turnovers, mostly behind Miles Garrett and what he can do as a disruptive force of the line of scrimmage. And John Gruden talked about that Browns defense. Usually when you're good at creating turnovers, you put the quarterback under duress. Uh, Miles Garrett is, is he's the cream of the crop. He's, he's one of the very best in football. He's caused a lot of problems and turnovers. And he forces the ball to come out quick. Uh, Olivier Vernon is a good player. You know, Richardson is still a very good player. And they have a nose tackle that's an outstanding player. They got a good front. And uh, they use their blitzes very creatively, but they attack the pocket. And they've done a nice job of getting after the quarterback, and that's where it all starts. And they play good zone defense with great team pursuit. And guys like Carl Joseph and this linebacking core can rock you and knock the ball out. And they've got 14 takeaways. We have three takeaways. And uh, that's a big reason why they're 5-2 and two and we're 3-3. Three and three. So Miles Garrett leads that Browns defense that is, as we said, not great, but they have forced the league high uh, 14 turnovers this year. Uh, the Raiders have that to deal with. They also have the elements to deal with. Supposed to be cold around maybe mid 40s around kickoff. Also very windy. Gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Sustained winds 25 to 35 and 90% chance of rain. So the, the Raiders are going to have to prepare for that. They did a little bit of that with the wet ball. Uh, that could impact the game on Sunday. I think it will impact the game quite a bit. I mean, we know what the strength of the Raiders' offense is. It's Derek Carr and that passing game. And you go, you go from Las Vegas where you're playing indoors or some of the other warm weather cities that they played earlier this year, and you know, in September, games like that, to wet, windy Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, that doesn't sound conducive to a explosive passing offense. So I expect the Raiders to try and get Josh Jacobs going on the ground. They've struggled to do that throughout the course of this year. We know that. He's still seeking his first 100-yard game, and he's only averaging 3.4 yards per carry. I expect that running game to be a big factor. Josh Jacobs' play could determine the outcome of the game Sunday. Yeah, and they want to get Josh Jacobs going. Of course, they tried to prepare for the elements a little bit today. They were spraying water on the balls, using balls uh, with no uh, with no laces on them, trying to learn how to get the better grip maybe. But there's only so much you can do, as you see. It's lovely out here, not so much in Cleveland. And the Raiders, as we just saw, they pulled out. They're on their way there right now. So we'll check in on them on Sunday, see how they play. John Gruden, a homecoming. He's got, he's got some family there. He talked about the phone book there actually has Gruden's in it. Uh, John Gruden from uh, Sandusky, family from Cleveland, played at Dayton. So a homecoming of sorts for John Gruden. We'll have everything you need to know on Sunday and every day. Make sure you check out ReviewJournal.com, Vegas Nation, get the app for all the Raiders information you need. Uh, from Sam Gordon, myself, Adam Hill, Ed Graney, Vinny Bonsignor, who are already on the way to Cleveland, and Heidi Fang here as well. We'll talk to you guys again Sunday as we get you ready for Raiders and Browns.